Hello, welcome back. <sighs> yeah, I needed a deep breath before we start this video. I know that this is a video that I have to do for all of you guys to understand and to help. I hope it inspires someone, if anyone. I, I don't love talking about this, even though I should, because it's a huge accomplishment. So I shouldn't be afraid to talk about it, but sometimes it's hard and sometimes I get emotional, but I don't know if that will happen today, but I'm going to walk you guys through my journey, the steps I took, the obstacles I overcame, and just, I'm just going to try and give you the most real story I can. I all week told myself like, Emma, you need to write up an outline for, for your weight loss journey video so you can follow along and hit every point. But every time I sat down to write it out, I just, it was, it was so, I just couldn't write it out. Like the most real way to give it to you guys is just to talk about it. And so that's what I'm going to try and do today. One of the biggest questions that I get asked a lot is like, where did your drive come from? And, or what, what made you decide to start? And that is like the one question that I think is most personal and most hard to talk about. So we're going to start out with that one. It was in January of 2019 and of course all the holidays had just gotten over and my family always then celebrates New Year's and in December of 2018 right before Christmas I had um, an eye surgery and is awful. I had to lay face down for two weeks straight and it really is just miserable. Christmas is my favorite time of the year and I spent it being a patient I felt like and so I hated that but and of course I cope with food. Yeah. So then Christmas goes by and January comes around and New Year's and everyone starts New Year's resolutions. And I kept telling myself, Emma, you need to, you need to, let's have a New Year's resolution. Like, let's see if we can do this. And I kept telling myself, like, let's, let's try losing weight. So I did a lot of research, looked up different things, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to count my calories or I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do that. Then I distinctively remember I had an appointment in Iowa and so we drove to Iowa had my appointment we came home and I finally decided I was going to step on the scale. Yeah. It was not pretty. When the number on the scale was so close to 300 pounds Brings you to tears. I remember going downstairs, walking straight past my mom, going downstairs and just crying. Cried for a while. Felt sorry for myself. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have felt sorry for myself at all. Like I, I did that. You did that to yourself. And. I told myself while I was crying in my bed, it's going to change. You shouldn't lay here and cry. And laying here and crying isn't going to do anything to change it. And that was January 7th. I remember that day I wrote about it in my journal. Went upstairs with my mom. And she, What's wrong? What's wrong? Why, why are you crying? I said, Mom. 
I just stepped on the scale, 280 pounds is how much I weigh. How unhealthy is that? And my mom said to me, I'm here to help you. You just have to tell me how. I'll do anything to help you. Just tell me what you need. And I said, I've been thinking about trying to lose weight and I've been looking things up and I just think that this is how, this is the healthiest way to do it because I don't want to pay for a program. I don't want to, I don't want to pay to take pills. I don't want to pay to get ideal protein is a weight loss package you can buy. I told my mom, I don't want to pay to do that. I want to do it myself and I want to do it eating healthy. And from what I looked up, that's the best way I can do it. She said that I'll support you. Maybe just try downloading the MyFitnessPal app and log what you eat and you can do that. So that's what I did. And I started that, it was an evening, downloaded it, put in all my credentials. I put in that I was at 280 pounds and set up my macros and it said that I was gonna lose like, I set it up, I set it up really restrictive at first, which was dumb. I put it like most restrictive and it said I would lose two pounds a week. So that's where it started and I don't know where it came from. But I was, I was starting and I wasn't stopping. I wasn't going to cheat. No, I was done. I was fed up. I didn't like feeling like that. I used to have to take melatonin to go to, just to sleep, just to go to bed at night because I was filling my body with all this awful food and I felt awful and it was so bad for me. And I don't know where the drive came from, but I started that day or that night. I put it in. Next day I woke up. I had done enough research beforehand that I knew what was right, what was wrong. There were still moments that I was like, I ate something and then I like tracked it in my fitness pal afterwards. And I was like, oh gosh, that wasn't exactly as nutritious as I thought it was going to be. But that's where you learn. That's where you learn. That's just how you learn what's right, what's wrong. It's trial and error, trial and error, back and forth. And so it was going good. And I kid you not, after a week, one week of just eating healthy, I felt so good. That on January 14th, I bought a gym membership. No, I took it back. My mom and I got gym memberships together. And I am so thankful that she pays for me to have a gym membership. I am incredibly thankful for that. When I have to start paying for it, I, I'll pay for it, obviously. But, I mean, I'm not going to take it for granted as much. And I thank her for that all the time and being able to go to the gym and get started because I my body physically felt good was just mind-blowing to me because beforehand I used to like go into the Pleasanton gym like a few times sometimes and like I'd work out for like 10 minutes I feel just Ugh. I'd be like god this sucks this is terrible but because I was fueling my body with healthy, nutritious food, when I went to the gym, it was easy. Well, easy in the easiest way that going to the gym can be. But I had the energy and I wanted to be there. So people ask me all the time, like, how do you have drive to go to the gym? Going to the gym sucks. Like, how do you like it? Well, when you're eating healthy, and you have energy to then go to the gym, 
and you go to the gym and you put in work and then the results, it, it becomes an addiction. It's crazy. One of the biggest things that really helped me out and I cannot tell you where it came from, but I had so much self-control that I surprised myself. And people would point out all the time, like, like this is sitting right in front of your face. How do you not want to eat it? And I'm like, I don't, I just, it doesn't even look good. Cause I know it's going to suck if I eat it. Then I go to the gym and my workout's going to suck. Cause I just put that nasty food in my body. So I don't know where it came from, but I just, mindset is the biggest thing. And I was lucky enough to wake up one day and have a mindset that I was going to do this and I was going to change. And one of my pet peeves is people are like, oh my gosh, what diet did you do? And yes, I was on a diet because a diet is restricting or changing the way you eat. Yes, I was on a diet. Yes, I did a, a diet but I'm not on a diet. I changed my lifestyle for forever. Like someone that goes on and off a diet is gonna fluctuate in weight like crazy. Like if you're gonna go on a diet and lose 40 pounds and then go back to the way you were eating, um, you're gonna gain back 40 pounds and probably more. You can't just diet and expect it your body to change and then be able to go back to what you were doing. No, I changed my lifestyle. This is set. This is stone. This is cemented in. I'm not going back. Why would I go back to feeding myself? Just un like it's so processed and so bad for you. And now that I realize that and the difference, I the difference I feel like health wise is just amazing. Like I sleep at night. I have energy. I'm happy. I want everybody else around me to realize that. And I can't pound that into their head. They have to make their own decision. But like, if you want help, if you want advice, if you want to know what I know, like just, that's why I'm sharing this. I, I want to help people understand that the American diet is so awful for you. It's just, uh. My journey, so started January 7th, January 14th, got a gym membership. I will admit, I cheated once throughout my journey. And I started in January and in March of 2019, the surgery I had back in December didn't work. So I had to get a surgery again, the same exact one. It was worse because it was the second time and absolutely awful. And I was pissed when I had to find out I had to, had to have another surgery because I'm like, I am trying to lose this weight. I'm trying to eat healthy. If I have surgery, I won't be able to go to the gym and I'll have to start all back over and it just sucks. And I felt bad for myself. And so I had this surgery in Iowa and on the way home, I was like, screw this. We're at a gas station and I told my mom, I said, I'm freaking buying a piece of pizza. Like this sucks. She said, yeah, you probably deserve a piece of pizza after everything you went through. So I buy this pizza and you know, the greasy like Casey's pizza and I eat it. It's delicious. Don't get me wrong. It tasted so good. But my stomach hurt so bad after I ate that pizza that it looked, I totally forgot I even had eye surgery. My eye pain wasn't even as bad as how bad my stomach hurt. And then I like crashed. Like I felt like I was hung over and I felt like I was just Ugh, like my stomach hurt. I just, I want to go to bed and I didn't even have energy. Like I literally felt awful and I like took a nap and I woke up and I was like good god Emma you never want to feel like that again and 
cheating no I don't I you if you see me cheating it's it's pretty slim I think I've only done it like two other times and I can't even think about when they were because ugh. like I remember one time I was like oh it was on my birthday and I got like this deal of candy and I'm not really I wasn't coming off of sugar wasn't that hard for me because I don't really I didn't eat a lot of sugar before but it was my birthday and someone had given me Reese's peanut butter cups and I was like oh my god like it's my birthday I, I can eat one right whatever I took a bite I instantly spit it out it tasted so bad like it didn't even taste good like, if you can get to that point, it's easy. Like, yes, it's hard and there's there's so many things you have to go overcome, but it was easy. Like, it, uh, I spit it out. Gross. It tasted so awful. And that's where, like, it's easy to not cheat because if you don't do it for so long, your taste buds change and you don't like it. You don't like it. And, okay, so enough with all that ranting. So January started 280 pounds. After that week of just eating healthy and then I went to the gym, granted it was probably a lot of water weight and I know it was, but I'm pretty sure I was like six pounds by dawn when I weighed then at the gym. And I was like, okay, it's a different scale, but holy crap, like that's amazing. So then I told myself, like, Emma, you can't weigh all the time. And it really helped that I was in, I weighed, my first weight was at a sc the scale that's at our house in Pleasanton. So it really helped that I was at the dorms most of the time and that I wasn't weighing myself every day because that can really hinder someone's, like, mindset. And so I told myself I was going to weigh. Um, I went home, like, every other weekend. So I was going to weigh when I was home. That worked. worked great for me. So I was losing about two or three pounds a week and oh, that's a lot. I was losing like one to two pounds a week and it was really good and I was just feeling great and I kept going, I kept going and then I was about 40 pounds down and I was really proud of myself, really proud. And the only person I really shared any of this with was my mom because I knew she'd support me no matter what. And so then when I hit 40 pounds down, then people started like, my little sister goes, Emma, you look different. And I was like, oh, thanks, Al. Like in a good way? And she was like, yeah, your shirt's not as tight. Oh, thanks. Thanks. It actually, like, even though she was so blunt, like it. Thanks, man. That's awesome. And then I distinctively remember um, my neighbors at a basketball game saying something to my mom and when both of them were talking to my mom and was like, Emma looks, Emma looks different. She looks good. Like the compliments just make you even more addicted. Like not addicted in a good way. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to keep going. Like I'm going to keep going. And like I, I, another thing that like setting goals throughout this was big. I had my one big goal of like what I thought like my ideal weight was. And I set that at like 160. Yeah, it's good. I did wait, right? That's a long freaking ways from 280 pounds. Yeah, we got to set small goals here. So my first small goal was 40 pounds. When I hit that, I felt great. And I was like, okay, another 40, right? That took a while, I felt like. And then when... That rolled around, I was like, oh my gosh, am I 80 pounds? Like, that's amazing. And that was during the summer, I hit 80 pounds. Like, it was like July, I'm pretty sure. I felt great. Then I felt a little more confident in a swimsuit, and it was, it was good. And then I set a big goal for myself, and I was like, Emma, your birthday's in September. You're going to be 20. If you can be 100 pounds down by then, that'd be awesome. But that's going to require a lot of work and that's going to require 
a lot of time spent at the gym. And so then I started every day and I was like, I set this goal that if I wasn't going to the gym, I was going to at least like go for a run or a walk. And so that's what I did. And every day I started working and I was going to weigh the week of my birthday because if I weighed on my birthday and I wasn't a hundred pounds, I don't know, I was going to be sad. Blah, blah. So it was like September 15th or something like that. The week of, it was the Monday of my birthday it was then later that week. And I stepped on the scale and I was like 102 pounds down and I was so freaking happy and it just, it felt great. And what did I do? I called my mom. I was like, oh my God, I did it. I did it. She said, you did what? And I said, yes. She goes, you did not. You're a hundred pounds down. And I said, yes, like I did it by my birthday. I beat that goal and beating those goals just, like I said, it, it makes you want to keep doing it and it does and so then after that I kept going and I was like oh Jesus Christ another 60 pounds and I have hit my ideal weight I don't even know when I did it it was like a two months ago I think I don't even remember the exact date I was I was pretty happy yeah it was definitely right before quarantine I think I don't know why I didn't celebrate that as much, but whatever. And so now I'm at a point in my life where I've, I'm happy with how I look. I really don't want to get any skinnier because I don't want to look like, I just want to look healthy. I don't want to be skinny. I don't want to be the skinny girl. I want to look healthy and I want to feel healthy. And right now I think I look healthy and how I think I look is what matters most to me. And so now I'm just going to work on maintaining and I really want to work on building muscle in the gym. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just excited to continue to share my lifestyle with you guys. And I hope I just, this video, I'm smiling right now. I was totally crying at the beginning and talking about what I've accomplished. Oh, talking about what I have accomplished, I feel like I don't want to be self, I don't want my ego to look like it's here, but I am proud of myself and there are a lot of people that are proud of me too and it wasn't as easy as like, I'm. well my mom just called me, so took away those tears, it's like she knew I was crying and she just called me, but it wasn't as easy as maybe it came across as in this whole video that I just did. There was a lot of self-talk and a lot of self, I'm just proud of myself. I really am and everybody can do it. You can do it and if you need my help, like that's what I'm here for. You can do it, you are able, we're all, I'm emmable. You're able. Yes. <laughs> I love it. And I love all of you.